with some people we have in the audience, and then we'll get to our three speakers and get you back on the road for the rest of your Monday. Uh, in our audience today, we have Mike Chirico, representing Congressman Miller. Mike, thanks for joining us. We appreciate it a great deal. Congressman Miller. With the Washington House of Delegates, we have Daniel Linville. Daniel Linville, always appreciate you coming in. Thank you. The Wayne County Commission, we have Ken Atkins and Bob Paisley. Thanks. Commissioner, there you are. Next coming in Wayne County. And with Marsh University, we have Charlotte Weber with RCBI and Dr. John Marr. I know President Gilbert couldn't make it, but we appreciate you coming out and representing the alma mater. Thank you very much. Our first speaker can kind of set the stage for today's news conference. He's Brent Brown. He's been with the airport for three years, but director for two years. Uh, he recently was in Charleston with the governor talking about uh, matching funds of state, uh, for state funding that helped with some federal funds of $10 million that Congressman Miller got for us. So we, we appreciate that working relationship. He's doing a great job running Huntington Tri-State Airport. Brent Brown. You know, in an ongoing effort to keep our our airport operational and, and, and safety is key to that, um, we partner with the FAA and the state, of course, to make, maintain that operational safety. And uh, so we have three uh, slides that are affecting that uh, safety aspect. And so with the help of the FAA and the state, uh, we're able to uh, Take care of those slides. Um, one of them being on on the runway, about the midpoint of the runway, it's compromising our runway safety area, and so that construction has begun and it's underway. So uh, we'll be able to keep the runway open and, and the flights moving. So uh, the other two slides, uh, we have one that's along Taxiway Foxtrot uh, that is compromising our uh, ability to get our general aviation folks in and out of that uh, hangar area, and then. And then all the way at the end of the field is our snow removal equipment building. And that slide has reached all the way up to the building and has compromised the structural integrity of that building. So all three of those are necessary aspects to keep this uh, airport operational and safe. And without the help of the FAA and, and our state and the governor, um, we wouldn't be able to do these projects as quickly as we need to, to get them done. So I appreciate your help. Here. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Our next speaker is Sean Hill. He's the commissioner of the Washington Aeronautics Division, and uh, he can help tell this perspective from a state level as far as what these grants mean and how they'll help not only our airport, but two other airports in West Virginia. So thank you, Bill, and good morning, and thank you, Tri-State, for hosting us here today. This is a special day for the West Virginia Aeronautics Commission as we go, I'm not going to steal too much of the governor's thunder, but as we go across the state and we talk about actually 11 grants that the Aeronautics Commission awarded for a total of over $677,000, which actually helps us leverage money provided by the FAA, so we really appreciate Congresswoman Miller and her work uh, to secure those funds. Uh, and it's, a, it's a big thing for us, the Aeronautics Commission, and, to have a governor who recognizes how important the air infrastructure is for the state of West Virginia. Uh, I think it's it's fitting that we're here on Columbus Day, a day that we celebrate adventure. Um, and, and you look out the window and you see these, these jets. Uh, you know, there's nothing more exciting, really, than, than the idea of uh, bringing people to and from West Virginia. And we need airports to do that. It's not just the roads, it's the air infrastructure. And that's why events like today are so important for us. And I appreciate Governor Justice. Uh, he's not a Band-Aid governor. He doesn't see a problem and just put a little temporary fix on it. He sticks with it. And so, you know, it wasn't just a, a month ago that he announced some help here for Tri-State. He's going to continue to do that. And we certainly appreciate that. Uh, this is a great day for the state. So thank you, sir. Okay, thank you, sir. Appreciate you so much. My pleasure to introduce the Honorable Jim Justice, Governor of West Virginia. He's a Marshall alumnus. He is someone who's familiar with multiple different industries. And I think that gives him a vantage point as our chief executive to help our state economically, and we need that help. We appreciate his leadership. We appreciate your staff who have been so easy to work with with this event. But Governor Justice a few months ago said that airports are the lifeblood of our economy. And I think he's right on target with that. We need these airports to do well because if they do well, we'll do well. Governor Justice. Well, first of all, 
all, let me say this. I thank all the dignitaries that are here. I'm not going to go through and name everybody, but uh, but I would just say that I am really sincere about everything that I tell you. Airports are our lifeblood. You know, they're the number one thing to growth in our communities. And so what we've tried to do is we've tried to target that. We tried to do our amounts that could obtain federal amounts that could turn this into big dollars and make things happen within our own state, within our own facilities. Now I go back to this and that's why that I stumbled a little bit in the beginning. You know, uh, I was in the dorm when the plane went down right here. And uh, lots and lots and lots of friends, really close friends. And, and we have to put a paramount on safety. We've got to absolutely know that the economic engines of our communities are our airports. And we've got to have safe, good, quality airports. That's all there's to it. So, I, you know, I, I'm just, I, I, I've just got to read you just a couple of things, you know, that are really important to me. You know, it says that uh, in my talking points that Huntington Tri-State is the only airport now in the state that will be receiving two of these grants. One of them is a WVAC fuel tax funding for $325,000, and I'm going to be given today. The other is a matching grant of $5.8 million of FAA federal funding. And these are going to be used for, to improve the drainage system on the airport, to make slide repairs to taxiways, and to make additional improvements to the runway safety area. So, without further ado, I can tell you that we are now, in this year alone, we have done stuff with 24 different airports throughout West Virginia. And so, so I, I can't be any more proud or any more sincere to be in Huntington. I mean, just think of what I just said, to be in Huntington where I probably owe so much my education at Marcy University to be in Huntington, where I was in that dorm and everything, and to be at the airport and be here trying to make improvements to our communities, to our economic impact, and to our safety. Now imagine, just imagine, you know, a little 20-year-old that was skinny at one time, <laughs> that's set in the dorm on that terrible, terrible night that's able to be here today, to be passing out grants to construct and help the communities and help safety. You know, uh, it's really meaningful to me. It's an honor beyond belief. And so now, if I can have someone read, I'm not going to be able to see this, but I, you know, who do we have? All right. Uh -oh. <laughs> All right, we got to have somebody read it. The State of West Virginia Office of the Chief Executive would like to present this West Virginia Aeronautics Grant. This is a certified at a grant of $325,072 has been awarded to the Huntington Tri-State Airport for improvements to air drainage and the runway safety area. Okay, my friend. Congratulations. <laughs> back in my school. <laughs> Everyone, that concludes our uh, news conference. You're welcome to have people break up for individual questions if you like, but thanks again for coming, and uh, Governor, always good to see you in Huntington. Uh, thanks, sir. Thank you.